welcome back to another crafty witchy van life videos of mine and I am so excited to share what I've done this time. I feel like I haven't sat in front of a camera since a while because I've posted the videos about my Scotland adventures, van life adventures and I hope you were able to enjoy them but this video will be about me painting my van totally by myself with a paint roller and let me tell you it was so creepy but it was also a lot of fun and I personally enjoy the result um, you can tell me in the comments section down below what you think about it if you would do it yourself as well or if you would hire someone and yeah if you like this video just give it, give it a thumbs up if you want to support me and you know people who could be interested in it share this video and subscribe to my channel so by all this said i just wish you a lot of joy of watching this video and maybe look for your next project First of all, I had to clean the whole van from bottom to top and it was also the first time I really climbed up my roof. By being up there, I had to see that it was a bit mossy so it was definitely good that I have cleaned it and you can see I've used a metal sponge kind of to rub my whole van um, or most of the van. And I obviously wouldn't have done that if I would have just wanted to clean my van and not painted it because I'm sure this is not good for the paint. I don't think <clears throat> I don't think that you would have to send down the van to paint it. I have used the paint Rustoleum and I think it's evergreen. And I wish I would have been sponsored by it, but I'm not. Um, so yeah, I've done that project by myself and the paint has cost me, I think, 20 pounds per 750 milliliters and I have used two cans. I probably could have had another 250 mil, but I've just, for the little bits and bobs that I've done over, I stretched the paint, paint a little bit so that I was <laughs> able to manage to do the whole van with it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a bit of tape. Or not. If I wouldn't have had all those windows, I'm so sure I would have needed much more paint, but as I have literally a window in this door, a window um, or two windows in this electric door and then two more windows towards the back and the skylight and then obviously the front windows um, I didn't need it that much and to reach the front bed above the front window that was actually the hardest to get to so I really needed to lay on the roof of my van to roller it down well, I have never been up my van before. Today is kind of the second time I have a look, but the first time I'm actually on the roof of my van. And it's fucking scary. Not because of the height, but I don't know how to get there with the paint. I really hope I will do a good job. So I've used a roller, as I've mentioned before, and a stick to put it on to just have a longer arm. With the roller, um, I've used obviously a foam roller. The only thing that I could see about it was that um, it sometimes left a little bubbles and I'm obviously not so happy about that, but I think the end result is quite fine. Yeah, Rostolium, no sanding before putting it on with roller.
I think that's the most details you get. All right, partner. Keep on rolling, baby. You know what time it is. <laughs> I did paint it my man till the sunset and even above the sunset. a long day today <laughs> like yesterday I just started yesterday very early to clean the van to organize stuff that I need and just worked until four and then had kind of like breakfast like if I'm into something I don't stop until I'm done kind of and yeah I don't know Today I also worked so long that I literally had to have the hat torch on to see the rest of what I'm doing and I hope it worked out. I have just a tiny tiny bit of colour left in that tin which I could have probably used now but I thought like okay if there are only small touch-ups then I don't have to order another tin and I can use that one. And now being in here and i didn't even see the full picture of what i've done today so i'm very excited to wake up tomorrow morning and to sorry if i'm just looking at over there that's where the screen is um so i'm very excited for tomorrow morning to wake up and to see the end result but it was so cool to actually be on the roof of my van and uh painted green there it's like people um who work as uh, gardeners um just passed by with the mower and i was like mm, putting grass on my roof <laughs> it just feels like it so um yeah how exciting and i would love to know have you ever painted a car or a van would you do that and after you see my result uh just leave me some comments what you think of it and if you think i was brave or stupid to do so if you like it or yeah as well if you'd leave me some comments of what you'd like to see i can do that too okay good morning i'm so excited i actually feel like nicolas day which I probably should explain because um, at least in England I know that you don't have Nikolaus Day. So in Germany, on the 5th of December, kids clean their shoes and put it in front of their door, like their room door, not the house door. And overnight Nikolaus, sorry, don't listen kids, the parents um, just put little things into their shoes like chocolate and maybe toys or something nice and so they can be discovered by the kids in the early morning yeah with my van i now will just go out and discover how it looks like <laughs> okay cold. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ah! <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. 
Holy shit. The school. <laughs> and I've frost. Now I can see the frost. That's such a pretty pattern. Look at this. Looks like a branch or a feather or somehow like I don't know if you can see this. That's so crazy. And my van is creaking. <laughs>